Hi, I just wanted to show a few things, um, basically how to modify the scan data, uh, or the model, and also how to export that modified model. So um, probably the most common uh, reason for somebody to want to, m to modify the scan data um, is uh, that they don't have the, the bead line. Um, in this particular model, it has a bead line already drawn into it. But just for demonstration purposes, um, I'm going to add an additional one. Um, so you have to do this in expert mode, and you have to do this before you apply survey. So you go to the curve tool, and then you say no, because you don't want survey applied. I'm just going to draw a random bead line there. Um, and actually, you probably, this is a very smooth curve, but you probably want a curve that's uh, fit to the surface, in which case you would select it, and then in this case, this is fit to mesh. So it fit the curve <coughs> onto the mesh. Okay, now when we go back to survey, what survey does is if there are any curves present, it will um, subtract those curves from the, uh, from the survey step. So if I apply this now, it, you'll see that it has removed that. <coughs> now at the moment, it's, it's doing a quarter of a millimeter radius removal. Um, if you want to uh, have a different setting, um, you have to do that in the, in the preferences file, um, which is here. And so the setting that we have at the moment, it would be equivalent to this. And let's say we want something that is um, a little less aggressive than that. I'll save, save this. And you have to restart, um, restart the application. Okay, we've restarted. Let me just make sure that that um, pref thing is actually there. Yes, it is. Okay, and um, we'll draw a curve again. And I always keep forgetting to fit. I should probably make it fit by default. But Okay, and we'll apply. <coughs> okay, so now it's a much more shallow uh, removal. Okay, so now if you've done this, um, most people will want to um, s actually save out um, this, this uh, modified model so they can do a fit test. Um, there are some other scenarios where you might want to do that as well, um, if you don't actually have the stone but just the scan. Um, it used to be um, under here, under the menu. Actually, right now I'm on build 203. Let me just hop over to um, an older build. <coughs> and... Um, Okay, so in uh, the shipping build with Valletta is 164, and <clears throat> in that build, if you right-click, you have an option for, to save the drafted refractory, and that will that will basically save uh, not the block out, but uh, the refractory, and you'll you'll get it in a in a printable uh, closed closed mesh. Um, in the new build, however, we've moved that. So in the new build, um, it is no longer uh, in the right-click. Um, We've moved it to uh, as part of a safer build. Um, this makes more sense because, um, for instance, the the tolerance, uh, the triangle reduction setting, also applies to the drafted refractory. Um, and you can also be in certain tools like uh, the survey tool before you've applied it, or the safer build tool after you've applied safer build, where you'd still have the menu option, but it actually wouldn't work because the the model is already gone. So. That's why we added it as a step to save for build. Um, actually, let me just quick add uh, something so it's uh, it has something to export. Otherwise, it will complain about that. And we will do save drafted refractory. We will uh, turn off auto relief just so it goes a little faster. We'll leave the tolerance on just so you can see um, see the size. Um, if you actually have reduction off, it will uh, it will create a very large file. Um, Okay, so it's completed now. Let's take a look and see see what we have. Um, so you have to go over to the uh, project directory. And so here we have, let's see here, drafted refractory. And let's take a look. Okay, so that is, uh, that's how it looks. And as you can see, it has the modified area in there. And it has um, closed it, made it a made it watertight so you can print it. Um, okay, now there an, was an additional request uh, that came up recently um, 
where somebody actually wanted to have um, some some block out applied. So um, I decided to uh, expose those preferences for that as well. So that only applies uh, starting at build 203. So we'll go back to our preferences file and we'll take this one out. If you uh, take this out like I'm just doing it, it will go back to the default. Um, <clears throat> let me see what we have here. So these are or the default defaults are for the uh, the virtual model. So if you want to have um, if you want to have uh, blocked out undercuts, you set that to true. And let's just give it an angle instead of minus one. We'll give it an angle of um, I don't know, let's say three degrees. And let's turn off reduce. Oh yeah, that's another thing I wanted to show you the size of that. Model. So as you can see, the the output of this of the drafted refractory is is three megabytes. Um, and it, it'll be significantly more <laughs> without the reduce. So uh, so this way it will will not use reduce. It won't take the uh, the value from save for build. It will apply a draft angle and uh, block out undercuts. So um, let's see what that gives us. We have to uh, restart. Okay, let's see what we got. Um, so. Drafted a refractory, as you can see, it's a pretty large file. Um, let's see if it looks like we expect with the the draft. Yep. Um, so, so as you can see, it, it's added added block out um, <clears throat> at a with a slight draft angle applied to it. So that looks like it did the right thing. Uh, and you can still see the area that we removed here. Okay, hope this was helpful. Thank you. Bye-bye.